Hey, hey, hey. Happy Thursday. Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome in, everybody. We're having a bonus stream today. Uh, with the caveat that I'm really fucking tired. Uh, I just got done doubling my caffeine intake for the day. So yeah, we're going to play some God of War, and hopefully the caffeine will hit me really hard. Hey Rav, good to see you, as always. Have you been to bed yet? Only double? Yeah, only double. I try to be careful. My, uh, my heart can only take so much, so I have to be careful. Maybe try intravenous. Yeah, I could try that. Alright. Back to the boy. Alright, Sindri. Yeah, right there. Calm down. Oh, my B button is still sticking. Funnily enough, I, uh... I'm pretty sure my B button is the most used of the buttons. And my, my, my thinking for that is because the B button is the only button on this controller where the ink from the B has been completely worn off. So, yeah. It's a good thing I ordered a new controller. All right. Oh, Frostpunk. I haven't. Uh, I haven't played Frostpunk two yet. Did I ever quit? Ow. 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 I did. I did play the first one. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I he couldn't accept it. Died. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. Oh. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. It kind of is, though. I feel like this entire story would be improved if everybody was just more honest with each other. <laughs> You've all got problems, okay? Nope. No, we started right where we left off last night. Damn it. This fucking button is driving me crazy. Ugh. 
Oh, then you missed part. Oh. Huh. Good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. That's a good point, no. Ref. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. Yeah, that's true. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <laughs> You're right. It is usually the easiest. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. Loki's already only two syllables, All bro. Right. Shall we? Coming home empty handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to. Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Mm-hmm. Go, go, go. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus. Where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could what eat. What a terrible lie. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Sindri, that was also a terrible lie. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm -hmm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. Fair point. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. 
Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphine, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. <laughs> I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. I'm just gonna sit here for as long as I the possibly can. As well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. You know, Tyr, you're already doing a lot better, considering it's been one day. All right, what do we got in here? This will be of use. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Just him. How can I help? I guess when you spend that much time in a small room, it just feels better. You know? Ready when you are, father. I'm always ready to kill. What's that? Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. All right, let's rock and roll. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Everybody's got their damned secrets. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Oh my god, it's a fucking squirrel. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. 
Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, <laughs> if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Huh. Anyway... Now that I've polished off all this regimen for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. I like this guy. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Kratos is confused. He doesn't know what to do. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Uh huh. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Fuck it. Let's see what's going on in Niflheim, shall we? If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. As do I. Whoa! This place is cold as fuck! Let's do it! Is that? Oh. Uh. Thanks for bringing this. At least here the Aenor Yar can't touch it. <gasps> There's hmm. something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. But what's the point? If they can't hurt me, I need to feel the pain. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Oh my. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-wise mouth belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Oh. As you free the ravens, you unlock stuff. Neat. A gift of life, a gift in death. To smother forever the all fire's breath. Oh my. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Well, that's nice. Hmm. 
I'll hold on to it, but it doesn't match the rest of my set, so... It's a problem for later. What's this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I'll take that. I need to do this a bunch more. I usually associate Half-Life with some pretty green stones with a couple billion calories per gram. <laughs> I associate Half-Life with the video game franchise. Usually. What do we got? Okay, but what's the point? If I don't gain anything, then why would I do it? What is the crucible? Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Hmm. There was something I needed to check, and now I forget what it was. Oh. What is this? There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Here. You know Master Kratos, I would speak with you. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. How many squirrels have you spoken to? Hey, what's up? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. <laughs> you know how to reach me now. <sighs> I have a question. What? Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons! Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? Oh. That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch. As protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know.
Well done. I don't know how to get that other half of the seed. So I guess we're going to go to the next area. tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves sure i can oh yeah it went great we killed a lot of people and they weren't happy about it alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple freya tried coming with us but odin cast a spell on her she can't leave midgard that's terrible so then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light you interfered in the elf war not by choice we sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphine. <laughs> Did they now? Hmm. That's a little sus. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. Hey, can I jump off the cliff again? Damn. Hey, this is the place we use your Unity Stone to reach where you hit the Jotunheim Tower. Oh, yes. So much trouble I went to, trying to protect the Giants. Did it work? I guess. I'm not sure. Evidently not, since they're all dead. Alfheim. It's been so long. I'm not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa's Shrine. This place doesn't look so great. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. What do we got? See the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Why do they keep impaling people and then leaving their swords? The winter hit Alfheim hard. No, storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Like, why would you leave the sword here? Take it with you, you fucking freak. Open your DMs? Uh-oh. Also, hi, Dreamy. I love you. <laughs> I've seen this before. I like it. It's cute. That's adorable. All right, my DMs are still open. Hey, Mimir, what does it say? Huh. It was once full of life, you know. Oh no, I know that look. I know song what's behind that spoiler. Gone now. Another victim of war. What? All right, I'm going to open it. Are you ready?
You're very pretty. <clears throat> You're very pretty, love. Yes. Yep, I'm good. Yep. Yeah, I'm good. You should, uh, you should wear that outfit to dinner. <laughs> what movie are you watching? Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Not a surprise. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. All right, that's one down. See one up there. Can I get that from here? Yep. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. As do I. I. It would be very funny if Tear calls out your uh, uh, kleptomania. It's like, why are you constantly robbing the dead, Kratos? There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is there anything else down there? No. No, this is just the way I'm supposed to light that torch there. Oh, you did? What'd you do? I didn't catch most of it. I was still working this morning. Got oil up and running? Okay, okay, okay. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Fluid packaging? I've got a fluid package here for you. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> Got fuel generators up. Good shit, Jamie. Good shit. When are you going to, uh, when are you going to become a foreman? Full time. Tell all the sweaty guys what to do. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it.
Ooh, what's this? I don't like that. Eventually. See, that's what you should do, Dreamy. You should do a satisfactory collab where all you do is order everybody around and tell them what to do. Drones are a thing. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I haven't gotten that far. Hey, father, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What? What is it? That's enough. Please, you don't need to do this. <laughs> We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa, is that a We're the ones who freed the right. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. Yeah, everything here is always a fucking mess. Incoming! Right side! I have to train up that skill. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old yeah. friend. Yeah, it's true. We'll be your drones, Dreamy. I don't think I can do anything with this yet. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if you're good, I'll consider it. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Ooh, that's not good. There's no dark at all. 
Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? I think it's safe to say that we uh, we fucked up the uh, the balance of power here quite significantly. <sighs> What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between it's Light and Dark It's what Kratos... Elf. You're right. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. One second. Oh, fuck. I picked up my phone so I could check the weather and totally forgot to actually check the weather. One moment. Why is this program freaking the fuck out? Come on. Is there something running in the background that shouldn't be? Because this is really bad. What the fuck is this? That's weird. All right. We're going to close it and we're going to use this. There we go. That'll be a little better. I don't know what's going on. The uh, the desktop window manager is eating GPU. For some reason. I think it's eating a lot. Hmm. Let me close that. Got all these fucking PlayStation pro processes running too. Yuck. Can I close this? Yes, I can. It's so strange. Come on, go to the top. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. My whole computer is, or Windows is just eating. Um. Uh, 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 uh graphics card processes. Like, it's, it's eating it way more than it should be. It's taking like 30%. 30% compared to God of War Ragnarok. 
on high settings. Like, what the fuck is it doing? You know? Why is Windows using so much of the GPU for no reason? Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Okay. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Hidden NFT Bitcoin. Yeah, you're probably right. Weird. That usually works. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to restart my computer after we're done. Trying to figure out what's going on. What's that sound? Maybe no Windows is just freaking the, the fuck out. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many hmm. of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Interesting. Power will do that. All right, I, I do. I do need. I do need the light well to calm down. I don't. I don't want to give anybody a fucking epileptic seizure here. All right. That didn't do much. What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. The fuck do I care what they think? Speaking of light elves. Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. One of those light bombs! Careful! Behind you, brother! The Alpha! If you don't mind, I'm going to finish this one off. Motherfucker. Poor souls. Here. They came across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Are you going to throw us? Huh? 
Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. <laughs> I can't kill anybody, but Where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. <laughs> ah, curious mind. Carry on. I really like Tyr calling Kratos' weird behavior out. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. <laughs> and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Well, thank you, Mimir. That's good to know. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Hmm. There's more Twilight Stone up there. <laughs> yep. I'm working on it. Oh, hey, poetry. The collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <gasps> uh, tear, buddy. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. <laughs> No, oh, I'm coming for you, motherfucker! Another Oh. They're dead. Motherfucker! Bada bing, bada boom, bitch. At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The dark elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs> he did. He did say, hey, this is not our war. And he was right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. All right, down we go. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Hey! That wasn't very nice. Hey, that looks interesting. There we go. Maybe not. Oh, clever use.
use of your axe, Kratos. Yeah, Kratos is very clever. Ooh. What does this do? Ooh. I see, I see. I'll take that. Bonus melee damage is good, but, you know. We can do better. Oh, no. Smell awful. Ah. Your I can see it. Gloom nightmare. Uh got it. Back to it then. Alright, door. Continue our ascent, yes? Yep. My side! Incoming! Ooh. Now they explode! More poetry? So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? I think they're all pretty good so far. <sighs> What's this? Oh. Before we continue, I have to pee. I'll be right back. I'm back. Ugh, I had to go get some ibuprofen. Um. Yeah, I wanted to get some more ibuprofen because I can feel my headache coming back, which tells me that the headache has not gone away. It's just the ibuprofen from this morning is wearing off. So. I also have potato chips. Which I am going to eat two or three of right now. Because they are yummy. And you can't stop me. Mmm. Uh, back to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Then. What the fuck was that? Meet you on the other side. I was getting annoyed. Is that a room we were already in? 
Oh, no. Huh. That one was not a shortcut. He does have long legs. What's over here? Getting the hang of it. I need to steal. With so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. Ah, uh, well, we did kill him. What am I missing here? Bonk. Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. You're getting the hang of it, buddy. You're a smart lad, Tyr. I'm gonna eat more potato chips. Stone on the ground. I wonder if we can use Twilight Stone against them. No, he didn't like that. We can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Lidor, he's got me! I like this. This is fun. Nothing beats the animation of Kratos just running up on a motherfucker. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Crystals still make light bridges, but now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. 
Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. <laughs> Shall we continue? <sighs> Yeah, I'm just looking around for stuff to steal. Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. All right. Hmm. All right, we got to figure out the timing on this. God, these potato chips are really good. Fuck. They're cheddar. They're yummy. Hmm. Okay, so that's the second one. Where's the last one at? Down there, maybe? Than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords. Nor do I. No. Hey, rage go up, baby. Mm. It could be because I haven't had dinner yet.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Scarfa. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, alas, he could be informed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Uh, yes, Tyr, that is in fact how free will works. Congratulations. You figured it out. One moment, while I punch this. The shield moved. That looks right. We did it, boys. I guess I need to be up here. Tear, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I wondered what he did. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. He may have been right, but he did try to kill us. No, no more potato chips. I'm not allowed to eat any more potato chips. Uh-uh. Whoa. You can almost see the Milky Way. Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate <gasps> once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden <sighs> prophecy. <sighs> There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Oh, why do they gotta be such a pain in the ass? Soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Ah, it's facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. Oh yeah, well, thank you. Work, service. Thank you, Tyr. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. I want that chest.
Oh. That's how. What does this say? Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Oof. Limitless. Ambition? A bit vague, innit? Just a bit. Just a little bit. Hmm, I'm just wondering if there's more stuff. I think that's all stuff that we had done before, right? No? Oh well. It's a problem for later. Up we go. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he you said he... went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos. <laughs> what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. We could go back inside again if we want. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Uh, Kratos, what do you see? We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. 
We helped the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Hmm. Yeah, um, Atreus, I'm gonna be honest. When you have two gods of war telling you, maybe you should listen. You know? <laughs> there are two gods of war trying to educate you on war. <laughs> And they're both like, you need to chill, bro. Huh. Eh, I'm just gonna leave that there, I think. I'll come back for it later. I just, I have to make sure, I gotta know, my, my kleptomania. <clears throat> yeah. an infinite boomerang. Whoa. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's... Awesome. Yeah, you do. This is a really good game. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. What do we got here? Oh... See. And Atreus? What's this? Kratos? Okay. 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 Got some stuff to sell. Ooh, Bonk. these will look fantastic in my storage chest. What are these for? I don't know. We'll hold on to them for now, I guess. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. What's this? Can't do anything with that. I can't upgrade that though. Cool. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. <laughs> Don't worry, they will die really hard, probably. Alright, so if that back there is the path forward. What do we got over here? The shrine is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh. Guess they moved it. Uh, 
I guess I should probably get some more skills, huh? Yeah. Imagine if the whiny baby fell. He's not that bad. He's fine. I have a lot of XP and I've already gotten everything. He's a child. The giants always. He's a child problems. of a species that basically lived forever. Bit. He's got a long time to mature. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here, this is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No, I don't, I can't. What's this then? That's new. Hmm. That is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. Win Ragnarok. We are you not present in any of this. We don't win. Charged against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. You don't win against the apocalypse. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tear. I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, 
What'd you see? A lot. Groa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife, those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. Oops. It's only one city, guys. Right? Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Good night, bitch. Ooh. Interesting. Got him. Have a good night, weeb. Little bitch. Whoops. I'll just leave that there. Ugh. Hey. Did I finish it? I did. There we go. Um. All right, what do we got? I got something in my eye. Fuck. Hold on. Ow. Annoying little fuck. Oh my god, white. There we go. Maybe you can throw this back at him. There. Bitch. Quickly now before more arrive. Oh. Goodbye. 
We need to keep moving. I'm working really on it. Up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Down we go. Oh, okay. So that's all right. Now I know what this is. I saw this area earlier and I didn't know what the point of it was. Ah, shit. Oh, hey. I'm really sorry, Tyr. To do was follow the damn train, Are CJ. Are you okay? No. I mean, he swore an oath of, uh, you know. He he swore an oath of uh, 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 pacifism. And he killed someone. What the fuck do you think, Atreus? It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. He's not wrong. Oh no! No! Atreus! Follow us! Well, this is bad. Hold on. Over here. Your chase.
I was really worried for a second there. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I've... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when you are out of danger. Yeah, Atreus, seriously, dude? We will sit down and talk it out later. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. A dark elf assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting out. Can't they just leave us alone? I mean, this is their home, Atreus. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's tear. Whoopsie. Nobody saw that. We need to get out of here. Through here. Whoa. Yeah, we picked a good time, huh? Let's go, let's go. out for a second. Oh. 
See you later, fucker. Father, this way. Go on, get up there, brother. over here so that he'll actually come back up. Come on, let's go. Get your bitch ass over here. His fucking head off. Yep. Keep pushing forward. Another one bites the dust. I gave him a chance. I figured it was only fair. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's kind of interesting that both gods of war are like, fuck this. I'm so tired of killing people. Open the gateway, please. 
Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. Relax. You want war, Atreus? See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the Barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Okay, bye. Oh, and Atreus is going this way. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Hey, look, a scroll. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. What the fuck is this? We should be able to reach the Barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. <laughs> that, yes. You're right. Atreus is always, sur like, surprised when his dad actually takes an interest in him. Oh, I see you, motherfucker. I have a lot of trouble hitting the moving ones. I'm so bad at it. I hate your bird. Sindri. How you doing? Eight of forty-eight. Oh, Only forty to go. That. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff's not uh -huh. to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Oh, I got some frozen flame. Hey, yo. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Fuck yeah. What can I make for you? What about your son? Have we more to talk about? Nope. Let's go find out what's going on. Hmm. Well, this is unexpected. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. All right, well, we have now adopted two more dogs. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Ah! Woohoo!
La la la. What's this? Ooh. More stuff. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> I bet. Boy. Yeah, he actually doesn't say boy very much in this one. He calls him Atreus all the time in this one. What do we got here? Treasure chest. Damn the sand. But how do I... I want it. Can't we just move the sand? I know what I need to do. Yeah, he's just a teenager now. Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see what it takes us. Atreus in this game is just trying to find his place in the world. Less whiny, more... I don't know what to do with my life. Exactly. I mean... He's just like anyone else in this situation, you know? He doesn't know where he is or what he's doing, and he has godlike power. Like, imagine being a teenager and having godlike power. Like... Yeah. Yeah, you would make some mistakes. You'd make a lot of mistakes. Hey, fucko. Train Niflheim just got a new guess. La da 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 da. All right, what do we got over here? So What's much sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in this storm. Okay. Where am I going? Oh. What do we got here? What's this? Same problem? Too Don't much sand? There with all this sand in your way. Oh, piss. All right, I'll go deal with the fucking sand problem. Since everybody won't quit bitching. It's just sand, guys. Oh, right, I can't open that. Got another door. Whoa! <laughs> Fucking Anakin Skywalker up in here. 
They need to chill. Look, there's a cave entrance. One second, I gotta sneeze. Okay, I'm back. Hello, <clears throat> Bat. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. You doing alright? underneath Ooh. the desert is the creature within work is really busy yeah. god i fucking Sounds hear that like we'll find it if we keep going oh what but in a good place? way all right yeah when, when i say that i don't mean it in a good way <laughs> one of the few to meaning there's a bot from the temple <sighs> great i pretty much never mean it in a good way I do. I hate being busy. I want work to be absolutely nothing so I can just do whatever I want. I like getting paid to be useless. Here we go. Well, that wasn't very nice. It's not so boring if you're working from home. Because then I'm just getting paid to, you know, hang out. Oh. Never mind then. Oh, hey, boys. Back to Silent Lair. Okie dokie. Take care, Bat. Thanks for hanging out. The work time. Yeah. I finished early this week, but, uh... Only because I worked uh, 14 hours on Monday. <laughs> you know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well... This is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfheim, can you really blame them? Nope. Hmm. We did kill their king. And we are invading their home. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Hmm. Oh, there's more stuff up there. What's this? Let me up, damn it. Oh, is that the way forward? Fuck. If this is the way forward. What does it say now? It's not always like that. 
Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have an idea. Never mind. Nah, that doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what to do with this information. Apparently this wood is invincible. Alrighty then. Hmm. I think I see something. Won't do what I want. Red, left foot. Yo, motherfuckers are annoying. Seriously? Behind you, brother. This is the gate that was causing me problems? Really? Alright. I can see the bell up there, but apparently... Apparently... I can't ring it from down there. Whoop de fucking do. Am I missing something here? Because obviously that is not going to work. And I can't throw the axe from here. Come on, just let me throw it! What about down here? 
There we go. Never been this interested before. Can I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever? Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Hmm. Uh, Kratos, what I think the boy is trying to say is, you're not a great father. You could, you could be better at this. Oh, I missed. Oh, thank God I had enough time. Hey, another apple. Worth it. All right. Next. Ooh, headbutt. Good hit, Fuck. Oh, I'm coming for you. to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't look if i know anything about kratos atreus it's that Making mistakes is all he does. Like, it's his full-time job. Let's be real here. <laughs> Yay, chest. Time to rob the dead. All right. Why was that drumming so loud?
That was weird. It was really loud. What is this? Yeah, well, that didn't do what I wanted. That didn't do what I wanted either. Time for another puzzle. drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Gotta find the right fucking angle here. Okay, there we go. We made some progress. There we go. Stop doing that.
There we go. All right, up we go. Bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. Uh. What's that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing. Oh well, can't all be winners. I thought it was kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Atreus, keep it up. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Okay. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Yay. Huh. I did not notice that door open. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. <sighs> then let us free it. Yay! <laughs> what do we got here? Whispering slabs, eh? Shoulder straps of radiance. Well then. Oh, the puppies came. Oh, these are pretty. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take them. This is the spot. We can cut the half goof and loose here. What a silly name. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goof. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Ah, Man, what a we'll big fucker! Good from our dark elf friends, after all. Look, father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. 
You're a good kid. You'll be fine. Probably. I don't know. I've been wrong before. We'll find out. All right. Now we can explore. This way. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy, Odin knows all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Didn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Enough. We will continue later. There we go. I was like, I know I can do this. I just got to get it right. More grave robbing. Never hurts. Mimir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon. That's because he was a wolf, right? Right. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. Look here. Oh! Still don't know what these uh, gravestones are for. I guess we'll find out at some point. Good dog. Now, if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. Hold. We will finish later. No, you can keep talking. Yeah, a little higher. A little higher. about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. 
Oh, keep in mind, the only reason Kratos is here is because he, uh, he broke it. He, he broke everything. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, here we go. Alright, where's the last one at? Am I losing my mind? It's up there. I missed. There we go. What do we got here? Ooh, more blood bead. <laughs> What do we got here? I didn't get a chance to say before. I liked your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get more. But thank you, I We should get you a robot body, Mimir. <laughs> What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. What's this? They'll know what to do with it. A sword hilt, huh? Ooh. The gauntlets of radiance. All right. How's the shield holding up, Black? It's good. I always knew Sindri was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield, it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. It is pretty cool. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that means 
Another half goofa. You don't know that. You're just guessing. All right. What do we got? Uh, I don't think we could go this way because there was sand in the way. So let's see what we got over here. No, oh, I'm pissed. It's this asshole again. me of tales of a cruel empress one too angry to die we will see <laughs> literally too angry to die that's funny all right boss fight completed Ooh, another piece of the chaos flame nice all right. So what's left in the immediate area? We have that gate there, but I can't do anything with that yet. Let's go see about the skeleton, the shall we? You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. <laughs> it's also really unclear how all of this applies to Kratos, given that he's not from here. You know? It's 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 not exactly clear how this would affect him, you know. <sighs> Plot armor is a form of luck, I would say. I agree. Hey look, the bag. Oh treasure map complete. I didn't even have the map. I found the thing by accident. Some bayonetta shit. Oh, 
Now I have to buy another goddamn resurrection stone. You little shits. Refuse to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Oh? What is it? I'm genuinely curious. And we got the last piece of the armor, baby. Boom! Oh, okay, that's what. Alright, 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 alright. That's why we were getting that realm shift thing. Got it, got it, got it. Now we know. If you equip this uh, this armor, you get a bayonetta dodge. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Witch time. That's it. I think that's all the optional stuff that we're capable of doing. So let's head back. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Oh. Let me guess. As always, reality is not quite so kind. Hey, Sindri. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. I'm wearing them. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Oh. Interesting. Neat. Let's upgrade that to level two. What'll it be? Gotta buy another one of these. And gotta sell them. You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Mm 
I'll disinfect my tools. Mm, I could level this up. But do I want to? Eh, let's wait it out. Oh, got time to chat? Sure, Surprised what's up? Nice to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop here. Oh, fuck. Only supposed to be about a three hour stream today. And we just finished up with all of the... Actually, you know what, game? Thank you. Let's see. Aim and press during... Got it. I might as well grab these. Uh, oh, that's useful. Whirlwind sweep. I mean, I'll grab it. What about you, boy? I might as well grab that. Okay, let me save again. All right. Yep, we're done for the day. Just a short stream today. I got to go hang out with some other people that I promised I would uh, spend time with. Um... But yeah, I can't believe we've already played as much of this as we have. Pretty incredible. Anyway, I'm going to raid out. Not sure to who, but let's find out. Take care, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Not sure with what. But we'll find out. And yeah, that's it. Take care. Have a good night. Um... Make sure you're getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to try to raid this person. Let's see if I am allowed. If, if it will let me. There we go. All right. Where's the button? Button, 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 button. Oh, there we go. We're going to raid out into Lazu. He's pretty cool. Go say hi. Be nice to him. And as always, take care. Seriously, it's important. Bye-bye.